All right, everyone, so there's an update available for the BYD Atto 3, and how you can tell is if there's that OTA uh, icon there, which means there's a software update available. So what you do is uh, go into settings, and then software, you'll see that red button there, or red icon showing there's an upgrade available. So let's push that now. All right, vehicle version can be upgraded to V1.5 for free. Uh, during the upgrade process, the vehicle will not be able to drive except for unlocking and locking, interior lamps, double flashing lamps, and window rising and lowering functions. Other vehicle functions will be temporarily disabled. Before upgrading, please ensure the gear has been shifted to P. Remaining power is greater than 20%. The hood is closed. It is normal for the dashboard and pad to turn off the screen during the upgrade process. This upgrade is estimated to take 23 minutes. You can click here to view the upgrade instructions. You can upgrade now, postpone, or cancel. So, I've got time, let's upgrade now. Warm tip, not hot tip, warm tip. During the upgrade process, the vehicle will not be able to drive. Please confirm whether to continue the upgrade. Yes, let's confirm. Checking vehicle status. Okay, upgrade will start soon. Let's do it, upgrade now. Getting ready to upgrade. Exciting stuff. This is in real time, and there we go. The screen's gone blank, which means it'll be upgrading, and then we'll check back in, I guess, in about 23 minutes. Okay, new screen, system updating. There's the progress bar. Multimedia is upgrading, and all functions related to multimedia are unavailable. Do not drive the vehicle, or BYD disclaims any legal liability for any consequences incurred. Unavailable functions include, but not limited to, rear view image, cloud service equal, cloud call, video and audio player, and voice reminder. Okay, so roughly about, what, 25, maybe half an hour has passed, and uh, it says now the upgrade is successful. Your car has been upgraded to the latest version, V1.5. Excellent. Good stuff. All right, I guess uh, we'll see whether uh, Android Auto works. That's what I'm really interested in. Okay, so you see the commitment I've uh, gone to for this channel? Right, so this is a brand new Samsung Android phone. This is the very first Android phone I've ever owned, actually. So, yeah, I, I paid for this with my own money. And, yeah, just for the specific purposes of, I guess, this video to test that Android Auto works. And I guess it's good to have an Android phone for other things because I do test a lot of vehicles. Uh, and just to make sure Android Auto works for uh, all those other vehicles, too. Okay, so um, you have to tether your phone uh, to the car if you want to use wireless. So uh, you do that via Bluetooth, which I've done. So Ludacris A04S, that's me. And you see how this phone, this Android phone is not wired. It's not plugged into the car, right? Totally wireless. Um, yeah, so once you've connected, um, you can just flick on Android Auto like this, press that button. Yeah, so at the moment, uh, I've got uh, Spotify here on the left, and then I've got uh, Waze open on the right. And uh, look, Waze, you can just zoom in and out like that. So that's uh, very handy, obviously. And then you can just, you know, search wherever you like to go to. Um, and then, yeah, directions can be utilized that way. That's Waze. You can also use Google Maps as well. Okay, so that's Google Maps. Same thing. You can uh, pinch in and out and rotate as well at the same time. And if you want to see what's available in your Android menu, so there we go. That's all the options for your uh, Android screen available on the BYD screen via Android Auto, uh, Audible, uh, Maps, Phone Reminder, Settings, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, Ways, of course, YouTube Music. See there. So and you can customize as well. So that's oh, sorry. Just not getting used to this. You can customize and unlock your phone to access app launcher customization. Okay, and that's the Android phone there showing a uh, customized launcher. You can choose whatever you want to show up on the car from the available options, which is pretty cool, pretty nifty. I like the fact that it's wireless as well. Fantastic. And of course you can have the music playing as you're uh, navigating uh, using the Google Maps or Waze on the other side too, which is very cool. Alright everyone, that's it from me, Tom from Ludicrous Feed, showing you the Android Auto update for the BYD Auto 3 here in Sydney, Australia. Until next time, happy charging.
Thank you.